What's up, what's up everybody? Today, we're doing a video on Feng Yen. I mean, technically, we are doing a video on Feng Yen. His name is Feng Yen. We're doing a video on the Spearman. We're doing a, a review video, kind of a review video, on the, uh, the Spearman in Dungeon Hunter Champions. I did six-star this guy. The game says, use him as your farmer. I know we pulled a Nat 5. I, will, I know we pulled other four stars, but I'm like, if you guys... I, if I say you guys should be using him as farmers if you're free to play, I better damn well build him and see if he's actually a good farmer, right? I want to practice what I preach. So, we did 6 star in first. We skilled him up. He's actually pretty easy to skill because the uh, the green ones, the uh, the nature ones, are nat 3s. Uh, we ascended him. Uh, he increases his, uh, I thought his uh, leader skill. He's got, okay, I think his leader skill when he gets ascended. Um, but anyway, he's got this uh, first skill. So it's every fourth attack heals based on damage dealt. Uh, like we got we got a few skills for him. We skilled up his air slash and stuff uh, based on his damage dealt. And I thought with this heal, he's got two skills that heal. I thought with the skill, uh, these heals, he might be good on another set instead of the uh, the vampiric. So we got the vampiric here, but I thought he might be better on what is it called? Brutal. The brutal set. I thought he might be decent on the brutal set, but it's I, I tested it out. He really doesn't heal enough um, Based on that like I kind of want the vampiric set because he, he heals it's a noticeable difference in the amount that he heals um, So he's got that little heal there. He's got thrust the spear rapidly dealing damage to uh, enemies in a cone several times uh, Cooldown reduced by one second now we've got this spinning spear uh, reduces all incoming damage raises movement speed and deals damage to enemy struck heals for portion of the damage dealt. Recast within a short period of time to strike in uh, immediately. Uh, and then the air slash, this is a provoke. Uh, and then the uh, attack speed, uh, not attack speed, attack uh, attack power uh, here. And then he's got another little heal here. Um, raise movement speed uh, and heals for, for portion of damage dealt here. So he's got, I mean, he's, he's a damage dealer. He's kind of a vanilla damage dealer, right? The other ones are pretty similar, um, the other Spearmans. Uh, but he's kind of a vanilla damage dealer. He doesn't really do a lot of I mean, will we'll, we'll see him in we'll see him in farming Let's go to the game says use him for either not the well not the game specifically, but a note from one of the devs Says to use him in either one seven or two three. So we got uh, not epic. We'll go. We'll go to legend We'll go to no, I didn't unlock that yet. We'll go to legend one seven We'll battle with him. We'll use, uh, sure, I guess these units are good for him. But we'll talk about him while we see him farming. It's not gonna be a fast farm. That's one of the issues. It's not gonna be a fast farm. Because he doesn't do, he does the provoke debuff, but he really doesn't do any other debuff. So when you think about using him in, like, Elder Drake, like, would you bring him into your Elder Drake V10 team? Like, you could, but you kind of want some buffs for your team. You kind of want some debuffs for your, uh, for the, for the Elder Drake. And for the enemies there. So, what really is he bringing to that team? Not too much. Like, we look at something like th this, uh, this dude right here. Let me show you guys. He's one of the, he's one of the staple Elder Drake, uh, and Elder Drake is gonna be the dungeon you're farming first. Uh, before you go to Steel Widow. But he's like one of the staple units. I'm building him up, uh, between him, the Water Crystal Priest, the Wind Valkyrie, um, our other, and then the, the Light Boon Sister. I'm gonna try to not do it with a Light Boon Sister. I'm trying, I'm gonna try to do it with, a, another farmable unit instead. Um, but I'm building the rest of those. I'm building those other three for, uh, Elder Drake V10. But he doesn't really do any, uh, he doesn't really do any debuffs or buffs to the team. Like, I like the buffs to the team that those other units, uh, provide. And he really doesn't do that, so there's actually gonna be better... Things for what was that? 53 seconds. That's not too bad. But I mean, there's there's faster. So for first farmer, I'm thinking maybe I would say get him to five stars, not really six star him. I think that there's better stuff to six star. If you well, depending depending, everyone summons different stuff. But let's go see uh, some other stuff that I kind of like. If it was. Let's say if it was me, if if I was not trying to build a water spearman first, what do I think could have been a better option for maybe me? Uh, let's see what champions. What are the champions do we have? We got a few different things. I was looking at this one. I think is going to be actually a better one if you happen to pull him. Better is a water damage dealing farming uh, farming unit. He's got a must-have epic farmer. 
but I think he's gonna be useful for more than just the farming. He's got this ongoing damage, haste buff, bonus damage based on max HP here. Not too bad. Uh, we've got this more ongoing damage, slow debuff. So look, this debuff, debuff, debuff. Uh, damages pinned enemy, lowers defense, pinned enemy, slams, uh, stuns the enemy. Uh, and then we have this uh, drains essence of nearby enemies, gaining one stack of regen for each affected enemy up to an, uh, up to five. And then max HP of only water champions. Uh, but I think he might be an actual better farmer than like a farmer that can actually scale with you and you can bring him to other stuff because of all these debuffs ongoing damage ongoing damage slow uh defense break so i think something like that also i think let's go to this collection i'm gonna i'm just trying to like i'm just trying to tell it like it is like he's a farmer he can do good but i would say use him as your five star farmer i don't think that he should be six starred um just because i i did i'm not really like he's okay I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh man, I'm never going to use him again. Like, I'm going to use him, but I think that there's better, I think that there's better options for whatever people might have. I'm saying like, use him at five star. Play with him at five star. He can be your farmer at five star. Don't invest in six starring him. Uh, but use him, but use him at five star. This monkey, all right, let's, let's look at this monkey. Senukong Monkey King. By the way, guys, this is not, I know some people are like, oh, I stole that from Comptuous. Monkey King is not Comptuous intellectual property. It's not copyright from Comptuous. It's from uh, folklore. Uh, Monkey King has been around for, for centuries. More than centuries. More than centuries. More than centuries. Um, Monkey King has been around for a long time before even the devs at Comptuous were even born. Uh, so anyway, just an FYI, uh, we've got, what do we have here? Uh, we've got Nimbus Strike, Empowered, deals additional damage, leap onto his next target, okay. Uh, overhead, Flip, Flips, deals damage, lowers defense, could be nice. Monkey Tricks, leaps to a location, bounces on his staff, becomes invulnerable, and raises attack. So he raises his attack, and he lowers defense of an enemy. Okay, we're already seeing, like, that could be a nice combination there. Uh, recast while balancing, leap in a new direction, dealing damage in, uh, in a line instead. Tag team, uh, summoning five clones of himself to damage enemies and knock them into the air. Damage dealt by clones ignores shields and ignores a portion of the enemy defense. So clones ignore shields, ignore portion of enemy defense. I think he could actually be a better, faster farmer than the, uh, than the water magic knight. And he's a free, he's a, he's attainable free to play too. So, uh, I think I did talk to Shredded Puzzle, if you guys want to check him out. I, we, Shredded Puzzle and I kind of, uh, got together with the brains and, uh, with the brains. With the brains. And we were like, okay, there's two attainable farm, farming monsters. And I, and, and we, we decided that he was going to do the Monkey King and I was going to do the Water Spearman. Uh, but I think the Fire Monkey King, check out on his channel, uh, to see if the Fire Monkey King's going to be, uh, live up to the hype that I'm saying he that he might do but I think he's gonna be a better farmer you can get him from hell uh, not hell you can get him from legend uh, over here right over here uh, board seven so if you clear board seven on legend it's the last part of it right it's not gonna be easy but you can get him you can get him but I think uh, let's see board one did we not complete board one legend did we not complete the end of that anyway there's this one uh, scenario 10, which is going to be nice. Uh, I think he could be nice farming this. Fa I know, uh, I know Claytano, if you guys saw Claytano, uh, was streaming with, uh, he was using Alia, the Fire Blade Master, to farm. And he was, do he does this in like 15 seconds because she's so OP, right? She's such an OP damage dealer. Uh, she ignores defense and stuff like that. Fire Monkey, attack buff, defense break of the enemy. Uh, I think it's going to do really nice against this stage, and I think you'll be able to farm it at decent speed with him. Um, but let's get, let's get, let's get back, let's get back to uh, the other Spearman. I think for the most part, not you, not you, not you. For the most part, the Spearmen are very similar. Uh, what do we have here? We have Indomitable Thrust, Blows of Fury, Spinning Spear, Air Slash. What do we have here? Indomitable Thrust, Unending Strike, Spinning Spear, Martial Dance. What is this? Five Special Attacks. Uh, next down with thrust cause him to dash to his target. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's it's very it's very similar in that let's go to um, Let's go here. Let's go see this uh, this light one 
Uh, and on ending strikes, perfect assault. Lowers attack speed, okay, reduces all incoming damage, raises movement speed, deals damage to enemy struck. Martial dance, I mean, we're seeing like the same, a lot of the same stuff. And then these other two, the dark one and the the nature one are both uh, three star units. So, let's see the, uh... You see the awakened? The, uh, uh, sorry, the ascended version? The ascended version? Where's these? Okay. I can't find them, I'm too dumb. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, we can see the, this one's a natural uh, three star, but very similar in his skills, very similar in, in his skills. I think what they might be decent for, but these are tanks too, right? These, these, uh, the nature one and the, the dark one are tanks. And then the four star units are fighters, fighter, 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 but the, the three stars are tanks, considered tanks. So I'm, I'm not sure how exactly their uh, their base stats compare when they are six star but they are they are different classifications anyway but the skills are so similar but one is a tank and one is a fighter okay but i think where they could be decent um as far as that aside from like i'm not i'm, I'm saying just like i don't know if i would like watching this if it was me i'd be like i don't know if i want to six star him i don't think that i think that there's a lot of better stuff to six star um, I would say maybe maybe check out Shred's video, see if the Monkey King is going to be a good one to 6-star. Um, and then see what else you have if you have like another nice, uh, another nice damage you have. But he's good to 5-star, he's good to 5-star, he's good to 5-star. I'm not saying don't use him, I'm saying don't go crazy and invest all time and energy into 6-starring him. Uh, what he could be good for is I think like a beginner... Uh, 5v5. I was using the fire one. I'm assuming that they can all... He just has a little mug by him. I don't know. I don't remember what that means. I don't know what that means. But I know the 5v5 champions have these little swords by them. Uh, so I don't know if that means... I, 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 I knew what the mug meant. The mug meant something. And then I forgot. I already forgot what it means. Uh, what it means. Anyway. Actually, I think maybe... Does it mean rep... No. Just give, let make make you that, and see how his things change. So I guess you can't use him for five v five because he doesn't have little swords. Okay, but I know the fire one I was using in five v five. I I I never tried to use the water one five v five. But I think that uh, overall, these guys are good for beginner. Uh, whichever ones are available in five v five could be good for beginner five v five mode, like the MOBA mode, uh, and that's what I would. Before you get into like playing as a support or anything like that, I think they could be good beginner five v five uh, five v five champions. These uh, these spearmen, because they're like they're they're easy to use. They're not like oh you got to think about the synergy between this and then help support and then you gotta be this guy and then you gotta be that guy. Like a little easier to use. Just jumping into it for the for the first time. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a video showing you guys we did it. He works. He does what he's supposed to do, but he's not like spectacular, like OMG, this is this guy's ridiculous or anything. So, anyway, I'm sure some of you already have some uh, some better stuff. But also, I, I want to show you guys the other the other the other units that I'm working on right now. Uh, we've got this girl, Rhoda. Uh, she's what the nature Valkyrie, nature Valkyrie. Uh, we've got this crystal priest, the water crystal priest. These are things that like people are just. This is like the standard things that people are building for uh, Elder Drake B10. And then we have uh, this guy, Wind Grublin Shaman. So, just standard stuff that people are building for uh, Elder Drake B10. And then I'm going to try out some uh, some different units as well. Like, there's a few different things that I'm building, but, but I'll do a video on that uh, later. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Just in case some people are curious about if the Water Spearman is good or not, at 6 star. Alright? Alright. That's it for this one. I will see you as always in the next video. Oh, I was supposed to disappear. Oh, I can't. I can't. Okay. Epic transition.